In response to some requests, this is a little video about bunting. The bunting that I make uh, has some characteristics that I'd like to describe. First of all, it comes in 10 meter sections. So if you look here, this is a join between the sections where we have a loop made with a figure of eight knot and a lock's head over another figure of eight knot here. And there's one of those every 10 meters. I change the colour of the bunting at every 10 metres so that uh, as you put it around the field it actually becomes a measuring tape so you can measure quickly and easily how big your field is. It's built out of uh, this line which unusually for a kite fly is not nylon, it's not polyester, this is polypropylene. Uh, generally the worst sort of thing for kite flying but it has lots of bulk which I like for, for this purpose. Uh, and it's the cheapest line you can get. So uh, this is a three millimeter polypropylene line. Uh, plenty strong and nice and fat. I like to have a little bit of heft to it. As a kite flyer, I would normally want to store bunting in a bag like I do all my other types of line. However, there seems to be a problem with this that People who don't know any better are incapable of dealing with line that's in a bag. And since it's often random strangers that help me to pack up at the end of an event, I've decided to go for these, uh, these hose reels instead. So this hose reel will contain 500 metres of bunting. So it's, uh, it's not too bad. Uh, already prepared, I have boxes of bunt, I've got a box of yellow here, a box of green and some other colours underneath. I have a box of lime that I've pre-prepared, this is the 3mm braided polypropylene. I chose the orange because I think that's appropriate. And at the end of the line I have a figure of eight stopper knot. And then every 50 centimetres I have a marker, there it is, that has been made with a magic marker to help me put the, the bunt in at a regular pace. So I have, I have one bunt every 50 centimetres, so that's 20 in a 10 metre length. Okay. So start at the mark, for the bunt over the line. Let's get started, pull everything tight, and we're ready for the next one. We'll take the bunts, fold it over the line, let's get started, pull everything tight, stop at the next mark, take the bunt, fold it over the line, Get started, pull everything tight, and stop at the next mark. Take the bunt, hold it over the line. That was the wrong amount of speed control. I normally saw with my shoes off. You do? So I have better control and can feel what I'm doing. Right, have you done? Keep going, can So, if you're ready, we'll take the bunt, we'll fold it over the line. Why are you moving all over the shop? Because I'm a camera person. If, if a, you wanted I a want... bloody tripod, get a tripod well, you're out. We're a tripod. <laughs> so, we'll Goes take a bunt. to the face for talking. Goes to the machine for doing. Yes. We kindly take direction from the director. Yeah. Ah. So now we're going to have to do a different colour. Yeah. Where's my green ones? Ah. 
you take a green bolt, we fold it over the line. We just get started. Stop of the mark. Another green bump. Fold it over the line. Started. Pull everything tight. So as quickly as the machine will go. Take a green bump. Fold it over the line. Get started. Pull everything tight. Take another green bump. Hold it over the line. Just get started. And we're ready to go. And stop filming now. Thank you very much.